In this demonstration, you'll see me configure Azure Stack HCI to host a virtual machine on a cluster shared volume. You'll also see me deploy a virtual machine onto that cluster shared volume, configure the virtual machine, and then move the virtual machine between Azure Stack HCI nodes. So we start here in the Azure Stack HCI Windows Admin Center console. And the first thing we do is go to volumes. And what I'm going to do is create the volume that's going to host the virtual machines. So I click Create. And on the Create Volume dialog, I type in the name for the volume, which is going to be VM Storage. I select the resiliency. Here I've gone with two-way mirror. I'm setting the size just to 800 gigabytes because this is just a test deployment. And I click Create. And it goes and creates a cluster shared volume that will be used by all nodes in this HCI cluster. So I can look at the volume itself. I can open up the volume in Windows Admin Center. I can go and create a new folder called ISOs. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to upload the Windows Server 2019 evaluation installation media to this particular folder. So I click Upload, I click Select Files, it goes to my local file system and I just select the Windows Server 2019 ISO. I click Submit and that uploads fairly quickly because it's all local. Now that I've got that, I go back to Windows Admin Center and I select my Azure Stack HCI cluster. It connects through to that. I then select under Compute Virtual Machines. And what I do is I click Add and select New. This is a new virtual machine dialog. I give the virtual machine a name. It's just Test VM. I select where I want to store it. I select the cluster shared volume. I'm just going with two virtual processors, two gig of memory. I connect it to the virtual switch. In this case, I'll call it compute switch. I then add a virtual hard disk. In this case, I only want it to be 40 gig in size. I then select that I want to install the operating system from a particular ISO. Click browse. I select the ISOs folder and then I select that ISO that I uploaded. I click create and it creates a virtual machine. So the virtual machine's in a stopped state. I click on the virtual machine. It brings up the properties of the virtual machine. I click power, I click start, and it goes and starts the virtual machine. Now I click connect. And when I click connect, it says, well, you need to configure it so that you can connect through. So I allow remote connections to this computer and I click save. Now what it'll do is it'll allow me to make a remote desktop connection through the browser. So I go back to my Azure Stack HCI cluster. I click on the cluster. I click on my virtual machines, I click on test VM. And now when I click connect, it opens the authentication window, put in my password. I confirm that I want to accept the certificate and I see I get an error. Why? Because it started and nothing happened. So now I do a control alt delete, it restarts the VM and I get the Windows Server 2019 installation screen because I click the press any button to boot from the DVD. Accept the license term, and this is just, of course, your standard Windows Server 2019 installation routine. I'll let that run through. It restarts to complete the installation. I put in the local administrator password. And I then have a running version of Windows Server. Okay, so I don't need to go and do anything particular with that. I come back to the Azure Stack HCI console and I can see the properties of this test VM. On the Manage menu, I can do things like move, clone, domain, join, export, replicate, create checkpoints, and so on. From settings, what I want to do, because I want to move this VM, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away that ISO that's no longer needed. So I go to the DVD drive settings. I save the new setting without the Windows Server 2019 ISO. And now that I've done all of that, what I can do from the Manage menu is I can select Move. When I do Move, I can choose to move the VM and storage. I select the location. I want to put it on cluster storage on the other node. I'm putting it on node 2. 
I make sure that I'm connecting it to the same compute switch. I click move, it submits the move job. I put in my CRED SSP credentials and it needs those to make the move. And a couple of seconds later, we see that it has moved across to node two. So in that demonstration, you saw me configure cluster shared volumes on an Azure Stack HCI cluster, deploy a VM, and then move the VM to another node.